Today we're going to talk about unit analysis and unit conversion. So let's commence operations. The first step is to write down what our basic conversions are. And what I mean by that is we need to know that one meter is 100 centimeters. And we also need to know that one minute is 60 seconds. So that's the first step. Just write down your basic conversions. Next, we're going to begin the problem. How do we do that? Well, we start off by rewriting 13 meters per second here. And now notice I have placed a fraction next to that. And the reason why we're placing this fraction is that we want to cancel out one of the units. Now we could do this all in one step, but we're going to do one unit at a time. So the first unit we're going to focus on is meters. And so the question is, do I write one meter over 100 centimeters? Or do I write 100 centimeters over one meter? Well, our goal is to get to from meters to centimeters for this first conversion. And so this is what we write. 100 centimeters over 1 meter. Why do we do that? Well, notice that we have meters here and meters there. And these units will end up terminating. Yes, the units will terminate. And so what are we left with now that we have canceled out the units of meter? Well, we're left with 13 times 100, which is 1300. And now it's no longer meters per second, it's centimeters per second. So we've done one part of the unit conversion. But we don't want centimeters per second. We want centimeters per minute. So again, we're going to multiply it by a fraction. And again, we're asking the same question. How we're focusing on time. Do I write one minute over 60 seconds? Or do I write 60 seconds over one minute? We write 60 seconds over one minute. Why do we do that? Once again, we're trying to get centimeters per minute. Centimeters per minute. What happens to seconds? They cancel. Well, we're left with 1300 centimeters times 60 divided by one minute. Let's see what that gives us. And that gives us 78,000 centimeters per minute. So 13 meters per second is the same thing as 78,000 centimeters per minute. Now, the last thing to consider is significant digits. Well, 13 has two significant digits. Now, I know you may be thinking, oh, this is only one significant digit, one meter is 100 centimeters, but technically it is considered to be a definition. And a definition has infinite significant digits. Same thing with one minute equals 60 seconds. This is a definition. It's not something that we have measured using a scientific instrument. This is a definition. So this also has infinite sig figs. 13, that's two sig figs. 78,000, this is also two sig figs. Another more convenient notation is to write it like this. 7.8 times 10 to the 4. 1, 2, 3. Three, four. Okay, so that's one conversion. I'm going to walk you through another conversion. Convert 785 kilowatts per meter squared into watts per centimeter squared. Now, the only extra complication is we're not dealing with meters to centimeters, we're dealing with meters squared or square meters to square centimeters. So, how do we do that? There's just an extra step involved. Step one, we write down the basic definition. A kilowatt is a thousand watts. But what is one meter squared or one square meter? What is that? Well, it's one meter times one meter. Right? Imagine you have a square on the ground, and now you take a meter stick, put the two meter sticks at right angles to each other, there's your square meter. But what is a meter? Well, a meter is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And that gives us 10,000 square centimeters or 10,000 centimeters squared. So we have our two conversions here. One kilowatt is 1,000 watts and one square meter or one meter squared is 10,000 square centimeters or 10,000 centimeter squared. And so we start off 785 kilowatts per meter squared. 
We again use a fraction. Doesn't matter which, which unit you want to convert first. We'll just convert kilowatts here. And so the question is, do I write one kilowatt over a thousand watts? Or do I write a thousand watts over one kilowatt? Remember, our goal is to convert kilowatts to watts. So I write 1,000 watts over 1 kilowatt. Again, why do we write the 1 kilowatt here? Well, it's because we want to cancel out kilowatt over kilowatt. And that's what we do. And what are we left with? 785 times 1,000 is 785,000, but now we're left with watts per meter squared or per square meter watts over meter squared. Again, we multiply by another fraction. This time we're focusing now on converting square meters into square centimeters. How do we do that? Well, same question as before. Do I write one meter squared over 10,000 centimeters squared? Or do I write 10,000 centimeters squared over one meter squared? Remember, we want to cancel out the meter squared and we want to be left with centimeter squared. We want centimeter squared here because centimeter squared is there. We want things to match. And so this is what we write. The units cancel again. Notice that 10,000, we're going to be dividing by, by 10,000. We won't be multiplying. This symbol means division we're left with 78.5 watts per square centimeter or centimeter squared. Considering significant digits, we have three significant digits here. Therefore, we need three significant digits here. Again, this conversion has infinite significant digits, as does this one, because it's a definition. It's not something that something has been, it's not something that has been measured by someone. This is a definition, and definitions have infinite significant digits. So I leave you with this task. Please complete both conversions. Have a great day.